Artemis 3 in 2027? For a while, that date seemed doubtful. The Starship human landing system had shown little visible progress, and delays clouded the timeline. But that uncertainty just shifted. Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX president and COO, has confirmed Starship HLS is now ready. Her statement marks a major turning point, coming from one of the most trusted voices in aerospace. So what exactly did she say? And is Starship HLS truly prepared to support NASA's return to the moon? In today's episode of Great SpaceX, we break it all down. We are now in the second half of 2025. That means the first human landing on the moon in over 50 years is fast approaching. For decades, humanity has looked back on the Apollo era as a defining moment in space exploration. Now, with Artemis 3, we are on the verge of writing the next chapter. However, as that historic date draws closer, growing doubts are beginning to cast a shadow over the timeline. At the center of this concern is SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System, or Starship HLS, the vehicle that NASA has selected to land astronauts on the lunar surface. So far, Starship has yet to demonstrate the key capabilities necessary for such a high-stakes mission. It has not yet reached orbit in a fully successful flight. It has not demonstrated reliable landing capabilities for both the Super Heavy Booster and the upper stage, the critical orbital refueling system that will be essential for deep space missions has not been tested. Additionally, the Starship HLS prototype has not yet been publicly unveiled in a flight-ready configuration. These missing pieces have left many observers wondering if the 2027 target for Artemis 3 is realistic. On NASA's side, the situation has not been without its own challenges. NASA's systems, such as the Space Launch System, the Orion Crew Capsule, and the Mobile Launch Platform, have earned a reputation for being expensive, slow to develop, and prone to delays. With so many crucial milestones left to meet, the idea of launching a crewed lunar landing in less than two years can feel overly ambitious. However, a major confirmation has recently emerged that may shift the conversation, and it comes from one of the most credible sources in the aerospace industry. Gwyn Shotwell, the president and chief operating officer of SpaceX, has reportedly confirmed that Starship HLS will be ready for Artemis 3 on schedule. This assurance was relayed following a meeting between Shotwell and NASA Acting Administrator Sean Duffy. According to a source on X, Duffy publicly stated that after speaking directly with Shotwell, he received a clear and confident assurance that Starship HLS would meet the timeline for Artemis 3. Um, I, I, I talked to their leadership team yesterday, talked to Gwen. They feel very comfortable on Starship. They feel like they're on page for the lander. Um, on track, so they, they feel very good. They said if there's a hold up for Artemis 3, it's not going to be them. I said, you promise me? And they said, yeah, I promise, it's not going to be us. Mm -hmm. So they feel really good. This is not just idle speculation or hopeful optimism. It is a strong message from two of the most influential leaders in the industry, one from NASA and the other from SpaceX, each of them closely tied to the future of American lunar exploration. With that level of confidence behind the timeline, we are now in a better position to consider what makes that 2027 goal feasible. To begin with, SpaceX is poised to enter a phase of rapid acceleration. Looking at the current preparations, which includes flights 10 and 11, as well as the appearance of the new version 3 booster and ship pairs, we could see up to three more Starship test flights before the end of this year. If those flights are successful, SpaceX will have built a solid foundation to launch at a significantly higher frequency in 2026. There's even talk of up to 25 Starship launches next year alone. This active period gives SpaceX a chance to hit key milestones, consistent orbital flights, payload deployment, in-space engine relights, and landings for both booster and ship. All are essential precursors to building and testing the orbital refueling system needed for Starship HLS to reach lunar orbit. If achieved by mid-2026, SpaceX could conduct an uncrewed demo landing in the second half of the year, a crucial step toward delivering cargo and eventually crew to the moon. Work on HLS is ongoing with leaked images showing crew section interiors and elevator system tests already completed. NASA's progress adds to the momentum. The launch vehicle stage adapter and the SLS engine section have reached assembly milestones, while Artemis II hardware is complete. The mission could now launch as early as February of 2026, moving ahead of schedule and energizing the Artemis timeline. With advances on both sides and confirmation from Gwyn Shotwell, confidence is growing that Starship HLS can meet its target for Artemis 3. 
Do you believe Starship HLS will be ready by mid-2027? Comment yes or no, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We're just 19,000 subscribers away from our 200k goal, and your support helps us keep track of this incredible era of spaceflight. For me, anything is possible, but the road ahead for SpaceX is packed with enormous challenges, especially as the company pushes forward towards some of the most ambitious goals ever set in spaceflight. The next few years will be defining not only for SpaceX, but for the future of humanity's presence beyond Earth. To begin with, let us talk about the basic completion of a single Starship flight. Even that is still far from routine. Among the biggest technical hurdles is the problem that has affected nearly every space vehicle ever built leaks. These can occur at any point in the system, whether in the fuel tanks, the engines, or the fuel lines. Even a small leak can trigger major issues before or during flight. And when the goal is to launch crewed missions that must be both reliable and safe, any margin for error becomes unacceptable. Starship, if it is to be the backbone of the missions to the moon and eventually Mars, must overcome this challenge in a consistent and proven way. Engine reliability is another critical factor. Starship is powered by the Raptor engine, one of the most powerful and complex engines ever developed. So far, almost every Starship flight has experienced at least one engine failure, either in the booster stage or the upper stage. While the large number of engines in the Super Heavy booster offers some redundancy, meaning a single failure might not affect the flight's overall thrust, meaning a single failure might not affect the flight's overall thrust, the problem is far more serious when it comes to long-term reusability. Reuse becomes extremely difficult if engines cannot operate reliably through an entire flight. Each failure could lead to costly inspections, repairs, and redesigns. To tackle this, SpaceX is developing Raptor 3, a new version of the engine that promises to be simpler, more powerful, and far more reliable. This engine is expected to debut soon with the upcoming Starship V3 prototypes. Initial test units are already being prepared, and we may see them integrated into flight vehicles in the coming weeks. However, as promising as Raptor 3 appears on paper, its true potential will only be proven during real missions. Until then, cautious optimism is warranted. Beyond engines and leaks, two enormous technical hurdles remain, and both were highlighted by Elon Musk himself as the final obstacles to making humanity a multi-planetary species. These are the heat shield and the orbital refueling system. The heat shield is one of the most vital and complex parts of Starship. It is designed to protect the vehicle during atmospheric reentry, where temperatures can exceed several thousand degrees Celsius. Starship's heat shield is composed of more than 18,000 individual ceramic tiles, each of which must perform flawlessly. With so many components, the system is vulnerable to failures, whether from manufacturing defects, gaps between tiles, or uneven thermal expansion. So far, heat shield performance has been inconsistent. SpaceX has responded by modifying the system after nearly every flight, adding ablative materials, testing new tile compositions, experimenting with active cooling systems, and even introducing metallic tiles. But the challenge does not stop at surviving re-entry. The heat shield must do so in a way that allows for rapid and repeatable reuse. That is an entirely new standard in spaceflight. Until now, vehicles like the Space Shuttle required extensive refurbishment after every mission. Starship aims to be turned around quickly between flights, which will require a heat shield that is not only protective, but also durable and maintenance-friendly. The second major hurdle is the in-space refilling system. This technology is absolutely essential for missions to the Moon and especially to Mars. It involves transferring cryogenic fuel between two starships in orbit, a process that has never been attempted on this scale before. The idea is that one starship, acting as a tanker, will rendezvous with another starship already in space and transfer massive quantities of liquid methane and liquid oxygen in microgravity. There are several difficulties with this concept. First, cryogenic fluids behave very differently in space. Keeping them stable and properly transferred without gravity is a complex fluid dynamics challenge. Second, the volumes involved are massive. SpaceX will need to move tens or even hundreds of tons of fuel to fully refill a deep space starship. That is something far beyond what any current system can do. If SpaceX chooses to establish a fuel depot in space, that will bring its own challenges. Long-term storage of cryogenic fuel in orbit will require active thermal regulation, shielding, and autonomous maintenance systems. And no matter the exact method chosen, precision is key. 
The two starships must maneuver and align with extraordinary accuracy to dock and initiate fuel transfer. This will be far more complex than the dockings we currently see at the International Space Station. Adding to the complexity is the fact that it will take many tanker flights to fully refill a single starship bound for the Moon or Mars. Given that current flight consumed nearly all of their fuel just to reach suborbital space, a massive leap in efficiency is needed. Whether the version 3 upgrade will solve this remains to be seen. But as of now, estimates suggest more than 10 tanker launches may be needed to support one mission. This brings us to another issue, infrastructure readiness. SpaceX currently operates only one launch pad for Starship, with a second one recently completed and two more under construction. At the same time, the number of flight-ready Starship and Super Heavy prototypes has never exceeded double digits. To meet the demands of high-cadence refueling operations, SpaceX must rapidly increase. This is where the Star Factory and new Mega Assembly Bays become vital enabling increased output. Fuel production must also scale, with SpaceX planning a local air separation unit to reduce reliance on distant suppliers. Beyond logistics, strategic priorities come into focus. While SpaceX supports NASA's Artemis program, its ultimate goal remains Mars. Musk continues to highlight Mars as the destination, with an uncrewed mission possibly launching next year. This raises concerns that Mars' ambitions could overshadow Artemis. Without a strong reaffirmation of its lunar commitment, SpaceX risks weakening confidence among key partners. Clear leadership is essential, not just from SpaceX, but from the US as a whole. Returning to the moon is more than a milestone. It is a strategic move in a new space race, with China presenting serious competition. America must stay focused. Success demands innovation, unity, and a clear purpose. The moon is a step toward Mars, and Mars a gateway to humanity's broader future in space. At the heart of it all is SpaceX. The road ahead is challenging, but if met with resolve, it'll reshape the course of space exploration. It's fair to say that the path to returning humans to the moon remains highly uncertain. At the heart of this journey is SpaceX's Starship HLS, a vehicle facing numerous doubts and challenges. These include concerns about the current pace of development, the complexity of the mission requirements, the unprecedented technical obstacles that must be overcome, and questions surrounding the company's long-term strategy. Yet, in the midst of this uncertainty, we have received strong reassurance from Shotwell, one of the most respected and reliable figures in the aerospace industry. Her confidence suggests that SpaceX may be making far more progress behind the scenes than is publicly visible. Quiet preparation and strategic advancements could be setting the stage for a major breakthrough. With that in mind, all we can do now is watch closely and see what surprises SpaceX has in store as we enter the final stretch of preparations for the Artemis 3 mission. Well folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.